Hello and welcome back to Techie Guys channel. Today we'll be learning about installation of Ubuntu OS on Windows platform as a VM instance with manual partitioning. Before we start the installation process, here are the prerequisites to perform the task. Make sure VT is enabled on your Windows 10 machine. VMA workstation installed on your Windows machine. Ubuntu ISO downloaded in your Windows machine. Hardware configuration with minimal 4 GB RAM, 2 core processor and 150 GB hard disk. Below are the link to download VMware Workstation and Ubuntu ISO. First, we will be guiding to enable the VT with the following steps. Here are the steps. Restart the local machine, select the appropriate function key to enter BIOS settings, choose the advanced settings and highlight the VT option to enable it. Press F10 to save and exit from the BIOS settings and click on restart. Post restarting will be instructing to start the installation of Ubuntu VM. Open VMA workstation. Let's start the installation. Click on create new virtual machine. Select custom that is advanced option and click on next. Keep the default settings and click on next. Choose I will install the operating system later and click on next. Select the guest operating system that is Linux and the version will be Ubuntu. Ubuntu, make sure it is a 64 bit and click on next. Give the name to the virtual machine. I will give as Ubuntu and very important thing guys, choose the location where your virtual machine will be stored. Browse the location and you can please do not choose C drive. Expand the D or E drive, whichever drive you have. Create a folder here with the name Ubuntu D and select the folder. Click on next. Give the amount of processor as per your requirement and click on next. Select the amount of RAM for your virtual machine. I am giving it as 2GB. Click on next. Let the network type be default, that is NAT. Controller type will be the default recommended LSI logic and click on next. The disk type will be as SCSI hard disk, that is. CSI recommended. Click on next. Yes, create a new virtual machine that is virtual hard disk. Yes, click on next. Create a new virtual disk. Yes, click on next. Give the disk capacity that is, I will provide it as 40 GB. You can give it as per your requirement. Don't forget to select this option that is store virtual disk as a single file. Yeah, click on next. You don't have to browse there. Now, before clicking on finish, select the option customize hardware and attach the ISO which you have downloaded. Click on new CD or DVD option and choose ISO image. Click on browse and select the ISO file that is Ubuntu 20.04. I have downloaded 20.04 whichever version you have downloaded you can go with that and click on close. Click on finish. 
So our virtual machine has been created. Let us go ahead and start the virtual machine. This might take a few minutes. Guys, you have a couple of options here like enter full screen mode. So let's start the installation now. Click on install Ubuntu. Select the keyboard layout English US and click on continue. Let this be default and click on continue. Download the updates while installing the Ubuntu. Select something else option as we are doing the manual partitioning and click on continue. You will land up in this, this page and Let's click on new partition table and click on continue. So we have uh, 40 GB of free space available. Now let us go ahead and create a partition. That is, let us first create it for the root. Click on select the amount of size that you have to give for the root. I will give it as 10 GB that is 10240 MB that equals to 10 GB and root point and click on OK. So for the root, it has created 10 GB of space. Guys, this file system contains your kernel, your boot files, system files, command line utilities, libraries, system wide configuration files, and logs. So, now let us go ahead and create an, another partition that is boot. Now, click on this free space and click on add. Now, let us select the partition that is for boot. So for boot, you require just few MBs, that is 300 or 400 MB is more than sufficient. Let us give it as 1 GB, 1024 and click on OK. And make sure it is mounted as a primary partition and click on This mount point is a primary partition so that the BIOS can find it to boot the OS. Let us add one more partition that is swap area. It is a special file system so we need to select it here as swap area and provide the size for the swap area. Always remember guys your swap file size will be double the amount of RAM that is we have provided 2 GB of RAM for the Ubuntu machine so it will be the double the amount of the RAM that is 4096 and click on OK now let us create one more partition for home so let us mount it to home and Give it as 10 GB. So guys, uh, this partition contains the user and configuration files which are separate from the operating system files. So click on OK. We are still left with a 17 GB of disk space. So let us go ahead and create one more mount point that is for temporary file and Give it as 5G. I am giving it as randomly. Guys, you can partition this as per your needs, as per your requirements. 
we are still left with the 12 GB of disk space. So let us go ahead and give it to the user file that is slash user and click on OK. So where is your main partitions will be root, boot, swap and home. These are the four main partitions which are compulsory. You can give it as per your requirement here. Now click on install now. It will ask you whether you want to keep these changes and continue. Yes, click on continue. Let us select the region. As I am Indian, I will choose Kolkata. If you are an US, you can choose US, you can choose Germany, whichever country you are. I am choosing Kolkata and click on continue. Provide the name to the virtual machine. I will provide it as Ubuntu virtual machine. You can still reduce the computer name to VM. And this is a username that is Ubuntu. Set the password to the VM and click on continue. So guys, your installation process is started. This will take a couple of minutes to get it installed. So guys, installation is now complete. Let us go ahead and restart the VM. Click on restart. Press enter key. Guys, our VM is rebooted and let us log into the VM. Here we go guys, we are logged into the VM. There are few steps which we, we have to perform. Click on skip. If you have an online account, you can log in with that. As of now, I'll skip this step. Live patches, set up live patches. Right now, I don't require it. Don't send any system info information. Click on next. And this is for your location services. Click on next. Just click on done. So guys, we have installed Ubuntu successfully. Let us run a few commands here. That is, open your terminal. Let us log in as root. Password. Let's try the update command. If you get install update. There are no packages to get update. Let us uh, try one more command that is apt get install net hyphen tools. Yes, this command is for your tools like which are not installed in your Ubuntu VM. So, guys, we have successfully installed Ubuntu. Thank you for watching the video. I request you to subscribe our channel to keep you posted with latest upload notifications and last but not least, please like, comment and share our channel.